it's Rebecca here. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about trimming lampshades. I'm going to show you a shade that I did recently and I just love it. It goes on a gold beaded floor lamp and I wanted to give it that kind of antique vintage charm. So I went with this smaller bullion fringe in gold to go with the gold lamp. So it's very tone on tone. It keeps it kind of classy. The fact that they the, it coordinates with the lamp. Again, we'll post pictures of this. But I also layered it with um, a beaded trim. And um, an awesome serenade had help choosing this trim. A, a new friend at Rutherford's. And she introduced me to the tacky glue, which is another way you can put your trim on your shades. Um, thank you, my friend at Rutherford's. So this is one shade. In the blue and white, I have it on a blue and white lamp in my living room, and um, it gives just a little bit of interest to an ordinary shade. Okay, so let me show you this other shade that I trimmed as well. This is one that I layered, and I used just a pink tape trim, and then a little blue and yellow and ivory gimp trim. And this actually goes on a little seashell lamp. I'll we'll post pictures of these two so you can see them dressed up. Uh, an old shade, and it need a new life. And I know this is not everybody's style, but I gotta tell you, it spoke to me when I saw it that it needed these pink roses on there. So um, I started attaching them on there just to see what it looked like. I'm sure you've seen the shades where they're completely covered with roses, that's an option. Um, this one, you would expect to see it around the perimeter. Straight. I have zigzagged my roses. It's almost like, and this is very cliche, but it's almost like them wearing a hat. They, there is an intuitive nature to what shade could go on the lamp to spin it into a certain style. So there's more than one option of shade for a lamp. It's just, what's your style? And that's one of my favorite, favorite things to say is, what is your style? And that's one of the things I help the clients do uh, is, is find their style or develop their style or I help them intuit what goes with the things that they love. Okay. So I'm just going to walk you through this. What I do is I take the, the rose off the stem. A lot of times they have a little backing to them where the rose either comes completely dismantled or um, it's just sticking too far off to build. What I did was just kind of took my scissors and trimmed the piece off and then I hot glued over the hole and over the stem part so that way the flower would stay intact. And then at that point, I'll put hot glue on it and affix it to the shade. Just a little bit of glue goes a long way and you just hold it till it cools. And again, I'm kind of doing a zigzag, you know, on the band, off the band. And that looks really pretty with this type of pattern that's on the shade. Now I will tell you, I personally don't trim all of my shades because I feel like that that makes them on the whole less special. I like to pick certain shades that I trim out. Maybe they just need a little more attention. Happy decorating and surround yourself with those things that you love.